Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for January 18th, 2016. Okay, so this is a general um, reading looking at the uh, main energies that surround us at this time and what we need to know or what we are advised um, on how we can use these energies um, for our highest good, okay? So, um, the first card we have is the Four of Swords, and this is the energy of the past that is still influencing us, or the energies of the past um, that are influencing this particular situation that we find ourselves in. Um, being a general reading, it will be something different for everybody, okay? So, with the Four of Swords as the background, I would say this is a time when we have uh, we have taken a s taken a step back from um, the spotlight. Okay, so we have put up some boundaries. We have focused on uh, recovery, relaxation, recharging our batteries. We have focused on. Um, our spirituality, we have focused on our stability, mental, emotional, physical. Um, and so that meant taking a step back from the drama of others or the influence of others um, and just focusing on us and um, stabilizing ourselves, okay? So the next card we have is the Hierophant. Okay, so I'm seeing this as, yes, we have taken taken a step back from the spotlight before, but um, now is the time when we have to step up and claim our position as a leader, okay, for others, as a guide for others. Um, everyone is looking to you for advice, for guidance at this time. It can be that during the time that you took to meditate, to work on spirituality, you have come across some answers, okay, about life, about the world, about how things work, what is meant to be, fate, destiny. Um, and now you are in a position where you can advise others where you can help others on their paths make their lives easier okay and you are called upon to be that leader okay it's time for you to step back into the spotlight um, you are very um, balanced at this time okay so you are you have your mind, body, and soul in balance, in line, okay? You're very centered, you're very in touch with your intuition and your spirituality, okay? So, um, I'm seeing this as you coming into your own. You have received the keys of knowledge, okay about yourself or about the people around you or about how people work or about your role or your purpose in this world okay you have received the keys of knowledge whatever that means for you or however that applies to your situation in whichever area of life that applies for you um, you have gained knowledge basically okay you have a different understanding about a situation and you are now in a position where you can advise other people or guide other people, okay? Um, pay attention to the fact that if someone doesn't come to you directly and ask for advice, they are watching you and watching what you do to try to learn from you, okay? So pay attention to that. The last card we have is Justice. Okay, so if I put these three cards together, okay, this is what I see. I see someone who has stepped back from the spotlight, focused on um, spirituality, focused on recovery, relaxation, recharging their batteries, um, just focused on grounding themselves, balancing themselves. Okay? 
that person is now wiser that person now holds um, knowledge they didn't have before and knowledge that can help others more importantly and as a result this person is much stronger and they are focused on fairness they are focused on balance and they are not afraid to cut away people or situations that are toxic or that are weighing them uh, down or that are trying to take them away from their purpose of helping others okay and so with the justice card as our final card we are being called upon to use our knowledge and to use our strength um, and this is also to lend our strength to someone who needs it and is afraid um, it's like you are inspiring someone to find their courage okay and it, it is your job to bring balance and stability to your life and the lives of those around you or the lives of those who come to ask you for advice or guidance okay you are an inspiration at this time so okay be aware of that and again just focus on doing the right thing you will inspire others to do the same focus on um, not allowing people to mistreat you and you will inspire others to do the same focus to stand up for yourself focus on standing up for yourself speaking your mind in a, in a balanced way focus on fairness okay um, and you will inspire others to do the same the advice card we have is 81 leader and 8 plus 1 is 9 and that is completion okay so I feel like this is telling you that it's it's time for you to end this attitude of um, being passive okay and it is time for you to be the leader that you are inspired to be at this time okay and again remember that People may come to you and directly ask you for guidance, but for um, a lot of you, they're simply watching what you do, how you carry yourself, um, how you speak to people, how you treat people, how you allow other people to treat you. Okay, so if you are a parent, be aware that your child is looking up to you today more than um, other days, okay, or they are more susceptible to learning new things today when it comes to um, the power of example okay if you are in your place of work for example um, and there are unfair people around you or unfair situations just know that your colleagues are looking at you and what you do and uh, how you allow to be treated okay and they will be inspired if you stand up for yourself they will be ins inspired to stand up for themselves okay so make sure you treat people fairly today and you demand to be treated fairly make sure you focus on balance equality doing the right thing integrity dignity stick to your principles and your values because you will inspire more people than you know okay you are a leader today whether you like it or not okay so that is the message that I have for us for January 18th 2016 okay it is time to step out of this passive um, circle that you have placed yourself in to work on your spirituality to gain peace and balance okay you have learned some valuable lessons and it is time to bring those lessons to the world okay you are called upon 
to be a leader, to be a teacher, to be a guide that inspires good and balance and fairness and equality. Okay? So, um, okay, uh, this should be a very empowering day for us and um, humbling at the same time because we are dealing with the forces of balance today. Okay, so um, I hope this reading helps you. I hope it gives you some insight, some guidance. Um, if it does, please like, share, subscribe, please comment and let me know how these cards affect your particular situation, if they do. Um, thank you very much for being here with me and I will talk to you soon. Take care.